Hello friends and welcome to my kitchen. Take a medium sized saucepan and fill it with water. Next, take five medium potatoes. Place the potatoes in the water. Cover the saucepan with a lid and bring it to a boil over medium heat. Once the water starts boiling, add one teaspoon of salt. Let the potatoes cook for about 30 minutes. They should become tender and easy to mash. While the potatoes are cooking, heat a large frying pan over medium heat and add a drizzle of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, add 16 ounces or 450 grams of ground beef. As the beef starts to cook, break it up with a spatula so it cooks evenly and forms small crumbled pieces. Friends, please write in the comments what country and city are you from. It's very nice to know that we can communicate all over the world. Now, while the beef is browning, let's prepare the vegetables. Take one white onion and finely chop it. If you have any questions about the recipe, write to me and I will answer as soon as I see it in the comments. Place the onion in a bowl. Then take two cloves of garlic. Grate them finely using a mini grater. Friends, I'd be happy if you could give this video a like as it's the best reward from you. Also add them to the bowl. Next, chop one carrot into small cubes. Friends, if you enjoy my content, subscribe to the channel to receive notifications about new similar recipes. Do the same with two celery stalks.
then add one cup of green peas. Once all the vegetables are chopped and in the bowl, give them a quick mix. By now, your ground beef should be nicely browned and cooked through. Add the mixed vegetables to the pan with the beef. Sprinkle in one teaspoon of salt. And stir everything together, ensuring new vegetables and beef are well combined. Now add three tablespoons of tomato sauce. One teaspoon of black pepper. Finely chop a small sprig of thyme. Also add it into the pan. Next, sprinkle three tablespoons of flour over the mixture. This helps thicken the sauce as it cooks. Pour in one cup or 200 milliliters of beef broth. Stir well. Then reduce the heat to medium. Cover the pan and let it simmer for about 10 minutes until the sauce has reduced by half and the vegetables are tender. The filling should be thick and hearty. Chop one bunch of parsley finely. Add it to the pan, stirring it in at the very end for a fresh burst of flavor. After 30 minutes, check your potatoes. They should be soft and a knife should slide in smoothly. Remove the saucepan from the heat and drain the water. Add two ounces or 60 grams of butter to the potatoes and mash them until they're smooth and creamy. Then add four fluid ounces or 120 milliliters of cream. Mash again until the potatoes are rich and fluffy. To give our mashed potatoes an extra touch of flavor, grate four ounces or 120 grams of cheddar cheese.
mix it into the potatoes. Finally, add two eggs and mix thoroughly to create a smooth, creamy mashed potato topping. Now that we have our filling and potatoes ready, it's time to assemble the shepherd's pie. Take a baking dish and spoon the beef and vegetable mixture into the bottom. Press it down gently with a spatula and smooth it out to create an even layer. Next, spoon the mashed potatoes over the top of the meat and vegetables. Spread the potatoes out evenly. And use a fork to create a nice textured pattern on the surface as shown in the video. To finish, grate 1 ounce or 30 grams of Parmesan cheese. And sprinkle it lightly over the top of the mashed potatoes. This will create a beautiful golden crust when baked. Place the assembled shepherd's pie in a preheated oven at 360 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Let it bake for 25 minutes until the top is golden brown and the filling is bubbling up around the edges. And there you have it, a comforting, hearty shepherd's pie that's sure to please everyone at the table. Carefully remove the dish from the oven and let it cool for a few minutes before serving. The rich, savory filling combined with the creamy mashed potato topping is simply irresistible. I hope this recipe brings warmth and joy to your family's dinner table. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know how it turned out for you in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. But that is not all. Don't turn off the video, I have a second equally delicious recipe for you. Let's start our second recipe by breaking three eggs into a bowl. Add one teaspoon of salt. One 
one teaspoon of pepper. Today, we're making one of my family's favorite dishes. I hope it becomes a favorite for your family too. One teaspoon of oregano. These seasonings not only enhance flavor, but also offer their own health advantages. For instance, oregano is known for its antioxidant benefits. Mix with a whisk until well combined. If you have any questions about the recipe, write to me and I will answer as soon as I see it in the comments. Pour in half a cup of cream. And half a cup of milk. Cream and milk provide a lovely richness to the dish and offer calcium and vitamin D, which are crucial for bone health. Add three tablespoons of flour. Friends, I'd be happy if you could give this video a like as it's the best reward from you. One teaspoon of baking powder. Mix well until you have a smooth batter. Set the bowl aside. Put a saucepan on the stove and pour in enough water to cook the pasta. Add one teaspoon of salt. Stir well and wait for the water to boil. Once boiling, add eight ounces or 250 grams of pasta. Cook according to the package instructions until it's al dente. Pasta serves as a great source of carbohydrates. Pour olive oil into a frying pan and heat over medium heat. Olive oil is a healthy fat packed with monounsaturated fats and antioxidants. Finely chop a white onion. Did you know that onions have been valued for their medicinal properties for centuries? They contain antioxidants and compounds that fight inflammation and help lower cholesterol levels. and add it to the frying pan.
grate two cloves of garlic. Garlic not only adds flavor, but also has numerous health benefits, such as boosting the immune system and lowering blood pressure. And add them to the onion. Mix everything together and saute until the onion is translucent and fragrant. Then add 8 ounces or 250 grams of ground beef. Ground beef is an excellent source of high quality protein, iron, and essential B vitamins. Season with 1 teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of pepper. And one teaspoon of oregano. Cook the beef until it's browned and cooked through about 10-15 minutes. Drain the pasta and set it aside. Once the pasta is cooked and drained, transfer it to a large bowl. Remove the frying pan from the heat and add the cooked beef mixture to the pasta. Stir well to combine. Add three fluid ounces or 100 milliliters of tomato sauce. Stir again until the pasta is evenly coated. Grate two ounces or 60 grams of Parmesan cheese. and add it to the pasta mixture. Mix well. Cut one zucchini into rings. Zucchini are low in calories, but high in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. They are especially rich in antioxidants called anthocyanins, which protect cells from damage. then into strips. And finally into cubes.
put the cubes into a bowl. And add one teaspoon of salt. Stir by hand and let sit for 10 minutes to allow the courgette to drain excess water. Heat one tablespoon of vegetable oil in a frying pan over medium heat. Finely dice one red onion. Red onions have a milder taste compared to white onions and are also high in antioxidants. and add it to the pan. Cook until the onion is browned and caramelized. Finely dice one yellow pepper Bell peppers are loaded with vitamin C and antioxidants, which are beneficial for your skin and immune system. and add it to the pan. Cook until softened. Take four large mushrooms. Chop them finely. Mushrooms are low in calories, but high in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. They are also an excellent source of fiber and protein.
and add them to the pan. Squeeze the water out of the zucchini cubes and add them to the pan. Add 6 ounces or 200 milliliters of chopped tomatoes from a tin. Stir everything together and let the vegetables simmer. Season with 1 teaspoon of salt. one teaspoon of pepper, and one teaspoon of oregano. Cook the vegetables over medium heat for about 10 minutes until tender and well combined. Take three small baking dishes and grease them with olive oil. Layer the bottom with the pasta and ground beef. Next, add a layer of the cooked vegetables. Pour the egg and cream mixture over the top ensuring everything is well covered. Grate eight ounces or 250 grams of cheese.
and sprinkle it generously over the top. Bake in the oven for 30 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius until the top is golden brown and bubbly. Once the casseroles are done baking, remove them from the oven, garnish with sprigs of fresh parsley and halved cherry tomatoes, a pop of color and freshness. These casseroles are the perfect addition to your family dinner combining rich flavors and wholesome ingredients in every bite. Thank you so much for joining me today in making this delicious dish. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video and happy cooking.